In all, there are 44 million acres of land here in Oklahoma. But the value of that land does vary greatly, and that has a big impact on the amount of money generated for public schools and other government functions. More than one-fifth of Oklahoma's total real estate value is in Oklahoma County. Several factors play a role in the valuation, and Oklahoma County Assessor Larry Stein says the figures hint that central Oklahoma is an economic engine for the rest of the state. First of all, Oklahoma County is the largest county in the state of Oklahoma as far as assessment goes. We may not have the largest land mass, but with 720 square miles and 350,000 parcels, it's all valued at about $7 billion. Now, that's more than 21% of the entire state's value. Central Oklahoma's real estate continues to gain value because the area communities are investing in themselves. I think if you look at the metropolitan statistical area of all the counties that are around Oklahoma County, it, it, it's kind of a blurred area because there's so much economic development. We've had the Thunder, we've had Bricktown, we've had all sorts of economic efforts with, to come into town. And, and I think that kind of spills over to all of the counties. Oklahoma County has a diverse range of properties, which helps the first time buyer and the experienced investor. We have a range of homes that could be anywhere between $3 million and $50,000 or less. It, what it shows is that with the, with the amount of dispersion of different types of homes, Oklahoma, is a, Oklahoma County particularly is a great place to either start buying your first home, making investments in real estate, or growing a big real estate company and buying a big house. Realtor Cara Bowes agrees with Stein and says many clients are asking to get as close to downtown Oklahoma City as they can afford. Over the years, maps and other community investments have contributed to the revitalization of neighborhoods like Oklahoma City's Plaza District, Wheeler District, and other places near the urban core. As a result, property values near downtown Oklahoma City are in a boom. And just since I've moved down here from May to now, it's gone up even more. Um, we've seen just in one year about a 6% increase in Oklahoma County. And now it's like, if you look at one zip code, I mean, it can be as high as 13%. Many of her clients looking for residential real estate near the urban core are generally younger. And we don't have the families necessarily living down here. We have more of the younger new couples wanting to be down here. Even builders who usually work in suburban areas are finding ways to develop properties in central Oklahoma because of the value. They're actually trying to build some more new homes. Um, I see a lot of even the suburb home builders coming down and buying lots or buying old homes and remodeling them. Jim Perrick with commercial real estate broker Price Edwards says Oklahoma County also has a solid commercial market. You know, our real estate market is good. We have had uh, a number of years of uh, strong performance. I th Personally, I think that the real estate market probably isn't as strong as some people think it is. Perrick feels there are a couple of factors playing a role in the market's moderate performance. One of them has to do with the oil industry. The lull in employment and lower prices are playing a part. The other factor is that population growth in central Oklahoma has slowed a bit. If you go back five years, we had population growth of about a percent and a half a year for several years. Well, the last couple of years have been just below 1% growth. And that's not a huge number, but it does factor into, uh, you know, especially for, for retail, for single family home sales. Different facets of the commercial real estate market are performing in different ways. For instance, industrial and warehouse space in central Oklahoma seems to be the strongest. And a lot of that is attributed to kind of the changes in retail and distribution that is using warehouse for distribution. It also has a little bit to do with the uh, burgeoning uh, growth facilities for marijuana, for the medical marijuana uh, law that we passed. Perrick says the office space inventory is plentiful and is affected by the energy industry, while retail space is experiencing a transition as more people begin shopping online instead of at brick and mortar stores. However, the real estate market in central Oklahoma continues to set the pace for the rest of the state.